Welcome back. So in this video, what I want to do is actually try to build some intuition for how numerical optimization works, the idea of using computers to maximize or minimize functions. Uh, and I'm going to do it using the app we built in lab three, uh, which is where we had a, a scatter point, a, sc a scatter plot that had a cloud of data, and we had a line, and we wanted to figure out what was the best fit line. And because that really is uh, a numerical optimization problem. And what we did is we set up the ability to, to vary the slope, to vary the intercept, and we set up a score. And I've actually updated the score in my version of this app uh, to actually be uh, the negative log likelihood, which is the thing we would try to minimize uh, when we're doing a maximum likelihood problem. And so I can start by, you know, as I move, the bar, I can see I can make that likelihood go down. Uh, if I increase the slope, that likelihood keeps going down. And I can kind of get a rough estimate pretty quick and then kind of spend a little bit of time monkeying around and finding a place. It gives me the lowest answer that I can find. Cool. So one of the things that helps me here visually when I do this is that I can see the curve. So I can see the numbers, but I can also get to the right part of parameter space pretty quickly uh, because I can see it. Now, Computers don't have that advantage. So from a computer's perspective, this app is going to look like the ability to vary the parameters and the ability to see the score. So let's quickly look at what that would look like. OK, so here's our same Shiny app, but it's now updated so it doesn't show the, the visual of the plots. But all we see is our ability to vary the parameters and to get a score back. Uh, so this is essentially what a computer would see if it's trying to do a numerical optimization problem. You can plug in different numbers, and then you can see what you get back as a score. For us, this is, is harder, uh, and it requires us to be a little bit more cautious as we try to figure out where we go to in parameter space. If I didn't know where the optimum is here, I might start with one parameter, and I might try changing it. Oops, I increased it. It went in the wrong direction. I want to make this smaller. So I would go down, I would go down, I'm continuing to go down, so I'll move in the right direction. Oops, went up a little bit, so I might put that back to where it was, and I might try playing with the slope. I can make it go down. Keep making it go down, down, 60, 59, 560, 540, 530, 510, 1. You can see, though, when I'm doing this kind of blind, I'm taking many smaller steps, and I'm just kind of proposing values that are near values that I've already had. It's, it's harder. Sorry. But, OK, that was good. And I might try the other one a little bit. See if I can make things go down. You can see as we get closer, the, the amount that we go down in each step gets smaller. Let me play with this one a little bit. Oops, went in the wrong direction. Four, three, three. Here. Sorry, this is just a little time consuming to try to figure out if I can get a better score. So 
turbine. Okay, so that's about the best I could do. So we kind of see that it is possible to uh, kind of optimize a function without seeing it. And it has this process of uh, essentially, one way we did this is, is to you know just try wiggling the values and seeing if it was going up and down. Uh, you can imagine that you could also uh, do this very systematically. I could have you know, tried every value of the intercept and written down the answer for a specific value of slope, then I could move the slope by one and try every value. So I could do a full exhaustive search of parameter space, <clears throat> but that's actually would take a lot more time and a lot more function evaluations. Uh, but that this approach of trying values near where we are and trying to move in the right direction actually uh, it is a way of doing numerical optimization and it, and it uh, yeah. Uh, but what we would never want to do this by hand. It's kind of very tedious by hand. Uh, but it's a sort of algorithm that we could figure out how to teach a computer this skill of looking for parameter values. So I'm going to go over that next. <clears throat>